Should you buy the Walmart or the Target version of the brand new 2023 Select Football Blaster Boxes? That's the question that we're going to answer in today's video. So right off the bat, the big difference is that in the Walmart ones, you're going to get the red and blue die cuts. And in the Target ones, you're going to get the green and yellows. Um, and I actually already opened up a few of the green and yellows in a previous video. Um, so they were pretty decent boxes. I don't think there's really going to be any other differences um, other than just the different colors. Um, so let's go ahead, get into these boxes. Um, you're also going to have one silver, um, was it, die cut, yeah, in each box. And in the last video, we got a numbered card in every box. So. Um, I don't think it's not guaranteed, but that seems to be the case usually. Um, so I think it's a pretty cool product. And like I was talking about in um, the other select video is the ceiling is very high in this product. You can literally pull like multiple thousand dollar card in here because you can pull one of ones, the snake skins to two, uh, golds, tie dyes, all that stuff. Um, so, um, but unfortunately, they don't have all the um, the levels. So field level is not in this sweet level. Um, all the nicer ones, not in this product, unfortunately. But you know, there's still some pretty cool stuff. So, let's go ahead, hop into these. Um, they do retail for thirty-five dollars a piece, um, but they're going for about fifty dollars on the secondary market so hopefully we can uh, pull something nice out of these and it looks like we already have a silver die cut here let's see if we have a rookie not a rookie i don't think there we go lamar jackson we'll take that we got a monroe uh st brown and somebody right there all right so no rookies in that first pack um and i'm going to sleeve the die cuts after the video, uh, it's just very time consuming to do that. But if you guys find this product at your store, I would highly recommend picking it up at a retail price. They're really awesome. Ooh, okay, a Bills Rookie Silver. Okay, I have not seen this guy in a product before. Osiris Torrance, I think. And we got Jameer Gibbs there and Christian McCaffrey. So, uh, you do get a lot of rookies from this product as well, which is really nice. And honestly, I'm liking this a lot better than um, Prism. I just feel like it's cleaner. It just seems nicer, like especially the hobby boxes. Uh, like the cards don't seem all messed up or anything. There's Zach Charbonnet. We got DJ Johnson and Devon Achan. So, let's keep it going. And usually if you hit a numbered card, it's within like the middle of the packs. Um, so hopefully we can get lucky here. There are going to be a few just all base packs like this. We got Jordan Addison. There is Jalen Jones and Trevor Lawrence. Let's keep on going. We're not even halfway through. And we still have not seen any of the blaster exclusive die cuts. Um, so let's see and we could also hit a zebra which that would be uh, pretty insane all right hey there we go CJ Stroud turbocharged always take that and Andre Yosevage that's cool let me sleeve up the uh, Stroud real quick I don't I didn't hit any Stroud in the last um, select video so there we go that's nice Okay. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be an all base pack as well. For some reason, like the last three packs are the ones with all the die cuts and everything. Kind of weird. But we got Travis Etienne. There's Mark Andrews and Bijan Robinson. So halfway through the boxes, I mean, we have a pretty good stack of rookies um, and decent cards for both sides. So happy about that now if there is a numbered card it's usually going to be in this one 
right here. At least that's how it has been. Okay, yep, we have orange. So here's our die cut. It's gonna be Tyree Wilson, and we do have a rookie. Ooh, is that gonna be Zay Flowers? Come on. Yep, Zay Flowers, orange. Ooh, and there is like a skid mark through the card. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but we did get Zay Flowers numbered to 399. I mean, that's a pretty decent card there. And Joe Tipman. All right. So let me see if I can get this one sleeved up. I think these were a little bit easier than the other ones. Yep. So there we go. Zay Flowers to 399. Pretty cool card. Now on to this one. Hopefully we have another numbered card in here. Ooh, yep. We have the green. Um, so this is higher numbered here. Hopefully we can get a rookie. We got Josh Jacobs. On that one there. Ooh, a rookie. Is it going to be Emmanuel Forbes? Nope. Andre Jones. This is numbered to five ninety nine. So um, they are pretty high numbered in these boxes here. But, I mean, if you're getting a numbered card per box, and if you can get these for retail, I mean, that's pretty good. Because Select is a pretty high-end uh, product. And getting numbered cards from this stuff is really awesome. So I'm glad that they kind of did that for um, these boxes. And we're going to have Chase Brown. There we go. It's a cool one. And Dorian Williams and Sam Laporta. Here, let me try and sleeve up the uh, Chase Brown because that's not a bad one at all. And, yep, there we go. So we've got, after this one, one pack left in each box. We still haven't hit a big quarterback in um, a parallel or anything. So we still have the possibility of pulling a um, zebra as well. Broncos, Russell Wilson. We got Jahan Dotson and Joe Burrow. So maybe we can get lucky and pull a um, zebra. But here's a quick little comparison of the uh, two different colors. So we have the red and blue there, and then the green and yellow. I personally like the um, red and blue, but on different cards, different jerseys, it could look better um, for different ones. But last pack in each box. Come on. All right. No zebra. Let's see a rookie. We have a rookie. For the Steelers, Kinu Benton, John Michael Schmitz, there, and Devontae Adams. So here, let's recap the uh, left box. This is the Walmart one. So Chase Brown, pretty nice. Laporta, that Zay Flowers is nice, but unfortunately it's got that printer mark there. We hit a Stroud, Achan, Charbonnet, and then that Lamar Jackson. So. Pretty solid left box, especially if you can get it for retail prices. Not bad at all. And then, you know, we got Bichon, Addison, Gibbs, and um, that guy there. Which actually, that one does have a printer line as well. Let's see if that one does. No. Um, but, you know, this box definitely not as good as the other one. But all it takes is one card. And maybe we can do that. Ooh, Zebra. We have Zebra, guys. Whew, come on. Let's go. Rookie. Stetson Bennett. All right, so what is it? Okay, it's one of these. Come on, let's see. R rookie. rookie. Commanders. Right. Let's see who it is. Chris Rodriguez. Okay. Hey, I will take a Zebra any day, Ooh, but it does have that printer line. Bro, they need to get this fixed. That's actually ridiculous. But Zebra, we will take, unfortunately, not the rookie that we're looking for. And these are really hard to uh, sleeve up. So I'll sleeve it up at the end of the video. Um, but there we go. That's a good look at the differences between these products. We did get saved here on the right blaster box. They were both pretty solid. Every single box of this that we've opened has been very, very solid. Um, would highly recommend this product. 
If you're debating on which one to buy, I would just go off which one is cheaper or which one you like better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.